What's going on guys? Got an unboxing video for you today. Man, I haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't checked out any new gear in like probably like a year now. So haven't really had anything to show, but now I do. And if you like these videos guys, please hit that subscribe button. I was checking out the analytics on the channel and 87% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. 87% that's insane. That's almost everyone. So if you've been lurking for a few years and you haven't subscribed yet, do it now, I'm trying to get to 100,000 this year, and probably would have already been there if people who watch my video subscribe. So hit that subscribe button and let's unbox this base. All right, so let's check this out. So this is from Sterling by Music Man, as you can see, and it is a short scale Stingray base. And it just came out this year, it's brand new, and I think it's the first time they've ever done a short scale because I've been playing Stingrays for like 20 years now. I've never seen a short scale Stingray. So. All you guys who are fans of short scale basses and you've been wanting to play a Stingray but you didn't have an option until now, well, your prayers have been answered and now there's an option for you. And let's see what it is like. Comes in a gig bag. Very cool. Alright, so here it is. Sterling by Music Man comes in this really cool gig bag. Great gig bag. Very well padded. Let's see the base. There it is. Light blue color, maple neck. Man, this thing is tiny. This is crazy. Never seen such a small stingray. It's just crazy to see. I never could have imagined. Here, let me grab a, a regular stingray just so you can compare the size. Just to give you some perspective because this is, looks really small. So here's the difference in size. This is the regular Ray 34. This is the new short scale. Man, I can barely even fit this one in the frame. So you can see how much smaller it is. And one interesting thing about this too is that it's actually passive. It's not an active base. So there's no nine volt battery in the back of it. I am gonna do a full review video of this base where we're gonna see what it sounds like, plug it in, walk through all the features and all the different settings because there's actually quite a lot on here. There's this volume knob here is actually a push-pull switch, as I can see. I don't know what exactly that push-pull does, but we're going to find out. And then there's like a bunch of pickup selections. There's a bunch of different settings that you can use on this. So I'm going to do a full review where we're going to check this out, all the settings, see what it sounds like and all that. This is just an unboxing video just to show you like first impressions. And yeah, really excited to plug this in and check it out. Let me just plug it in real quick. Let's just hear it real quick before we wrap up this video. All right, so let's check this out. So I have this, so there's a three-way switch right here. I believe it's the same as like the five-string Stingray. It has parallel single coil and series. I just have it all the way that way for now. Let's just see what that sounds like. All right, middle position. And the last position. Man, the short scale is definitely going to take some getting used to. I've never played a short scale bass before. I've always just played regular size Stingray. And it's definitely, the frets are a lot closer together. It's just something that would take getting used to for me. If you have smaller hands, or I know some people have messaged me before saying they have like nerve or muscular issues in their hands, so they can't really do a lot of stretching. So this would be perfect for people in those situations. And like the chordal stuff, I can already tell is a lot. A lot easier. There's not really a lot of stretching involved. But yeah, that will definitely take some getting used to for me. It's really close down here. But uh, great first impression of the bass. Like it so far. Sounds good. Looks good. And definitely a uh, stingray for sure. Yeah, got that great Stingray slap tone. And I'm really excited to check this bass out in more detail, really explore it. And there will be a full review coming up soon and we'll go over all the different pickup positions and all the different options and everything like that. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you wanna see that video, make sure you subscribe so you see that video when it goes up. With that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.